deep in the mountains of Amelioliao Ancient Road in Shinchu. There is a family who insists on using wood-burning method to make carrot cake. Firewood needs to be continuously cooked for six hours, cannot be interrupted, each radish shred, also coated evenly with rice paste, so laborious, all to inherit the ancient taste. More than twenty years ago, after Zing Xiaohua tasted her mother-in-law's good cooking, in order to pass on this good taste, he resolutely quit his job. Concentrate on becoming a disciple of your mother-in-law, although there was a time when gas was used. Make carrot cake, but the taste just isn't right. Now my daughter and son, also join in the production, the whole family works together. Just a kind of simplicity. And the taste of happiness. Follow the winding mountain paths. We came to Liliao Ancient Road in Ame, Shinchu, in the deserted mountains. The scenery along the way is beautiful. Preserve the natural original style. Seeing strangers visiting, first to greet us, he is the master of the mountains. Wooden stove, burning with a crackling sound. Breaking the tranquility of the mountains, hot steam. Keep jumping out from the side of the pot. The air is filled with the faint fragrance of firewood. Ten big stoves, with full firepower. I saw Zing Zhaohua adding more firewood from time to time. No time to spare. One stove a day. It takes six hours. Each stove takes six hours. You can't live without fire. Everyone must have fire. Burn like this, from the first one. When it's burned to the back, the first one is almost gone again. In today's era a quick success, Zing Zhaohua still persists. Use firewood for large stove. Making ancient carrot cake, for the sake of inheritance. I remember my mother-in-law's good craftsmanship, eating my mother-in-law's carrot cake. Just say it's delicious, I said it's really delicious, why isn't the one outside so fragrant? My mother-in-law said do you want to do it? I said you teach me, of course I will learn, I think this tastes good. Cannot be lost. Fat white radish, it is the soul of making carrot cake. Saint Ji Hua and Taiwan. Radish from the mountains. High sweetness and good taste. Damiai is sweeter and more fragrant when grown, and Binyang. Like as carrots, we all choose this, better radish. It will taste better when cooked. In addition to paying attention to the variety of radish, carrot cake should be delicious. There is another very important key. This is our Taiwanese rice. Taiwanese xilami. To the difference. There is a difference with imported ones. What's the difference in taste? The taste is different. This rice is also more beautiful. Choose xilami that is more than two years old. Feels fuller after absorbing moisture. The carrot cake is also relatively Q. How thick should you grind it? It depends on the touch of your fingers. It doesn't work if it's just too thick or too watery like this. The taste is not that delicious and not that Q. This is what it looks like when fried. Keep sticking to the pot. It will fail when you first start doing it. Always keep in mind. Now after a long time I know how to sharpen it. Rice milk like this. You see, if you touch it like this, it will stick to your hands. I won't let it slip away just by saying it. My mother-in-law taught me before. After a long time, you still have to rely on experience. Early rural era. Every household uses firewood for large stoves. Let's steam carrot cake. Labor and time consuming. Almost no one wants to do that now. Firewood smoke is flying all over the place. It seems that the memories of Zing Xiaohua have also been smoked out. Because my husband used to do sculpture. Later, the carvings were imported from mainland China. Even the carving masters have no work to do. Children need to eat and study. Difficulties in life are different. The quality of life is not good. At that time, my husband was facing the crisis of unemployment. Family finances are in trouble. Four children are still young. Zing Xiaohua has no time to balance work and family. So at the suggestion of my mother-in-law, decided to try selling carrot cake with my husband. Firewood requires a lot of firewood. Zhuang Guangzhong, who is familiar with the characteristics of wood, I will be with my son from time to time. Let's go to the mountains to collect wood together. Zhuang Guangzhong, 70 years old this year, his skill in splitting wood is still neat and precise. In addition to relying on experience, splitting wood also requires qualitative. Actually, it's not as easy as imagined. My son Zhuang Hongyu only learned this technique. It took at least half a year. You have to be steady in this way. Sharp. Ground rice milk. Add steamed shredded radish. After even mixing. What follows is six hours long. Firewood steaming. You have to look after a child at this time. Don't let the firewood stop. In hot flames. If you bring it close to your cheek, it will turn red. 
It's a job that tests your patience. When you are really too tired, want to use, give up burning gas, I'm trying the taste. It's really different, still no way. Still have to use wood-fired steaming. After all, you are doing it here. And this is an ancient flavor. There are really few outside now, you can buy this ancient flavor, everyone uses machines or steam. We are all like this, steaming by hand burning wood fire. So I would hope they come back for it. Because we are now. After all, I am older. You fry carrot cake, do you have any tips? Just heat the oil and heat the pan. Put it down and fry it again. Once it's browned, turn it over again. It's that simple. Don't keep turning it over. Just crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, to fry over high heat. Never fry on low heat. If you fry it over low heat, the skin will become very dry. Very hard layer. Slightly burnt golden color. Crispy on the outside, soft and dense on the inside. In addition, the carrot cake soup is also delicious. Tastes a lot like salty glutinous rice ball soup. It's just that the protagonist is replaced by carrot cake. Add mushrooms, shredded pork, shrimp, etc. This is also the private delicacy of Hakka mothers. The ancient taste that the whole family works together to protect. Although there is no gorgeous packaging. But just take a bite. You can feel the passage of time. Zing Zhaohua and his family, with a sincere heart. Restore the purest beauty. Located near Shinshu City God Temple. The ancestor of duck rice, the first generation boss lady. Actually, it was originally selling duck noodles. It was because my son said. The words, want to eat, developed unintentionally. Duck rice, filled with maternal love. Choose warm duck meat every day. After two techniques of first steaming and then smoking, make duck meat tender and flavorful. Served with homemade fried onions. Full and fragrant sushi rice. Topped with secret duck fat sauce. Served with soft boiled eggs. Stir it together and eat it together. The wonderful taste has attracted many regular customers. Get addicted as soon as you eat it. We live in Taichung. Whenever you come to Shinshu, you will definitely eat here. We will give up the coffee shop first. Then come here to eat. If you haven't eaten in Shinshu, I will really go back to Taichung, crying with all my heart. Didn't get to eat late. It will be really sad to go home. What kind of good taste is it? Haunting. It turned out to be this bowl. Duck rice with plenty of duck meat. It is the treasure of the old store. Here comes your meal. Stir a little. More uniform and more delicious. The fragrant duck rice is served as soon as it's served. It's so exciting. Soft and tender duck meat, and home fried shallots, served with sushi rice cooked until fragrant and plump. Pair it with sushi rice that is cooked until it looks plump, topped with exclusive secret duck fat sauce. Stir evenly and eat together. Strong aroma, all intertwined. Excellent taste. Many regular customers are fascinated by it. Himself and others, compared with other duck rice dishes. Because his duck fat is more, so it tastes more palatable. And his duck meat isn't very good either. It, meter, is less likely to get too wet. It won't be too strong, so it tastes just right. The taste is quite good and full of elasticity. I have been eating it for 10 years. Eating here feels very memorable. So I will eat like this every time I come here. Eat the original flavor of duck meat. I will check in every time I come to Shinchu. I specially took the high-speed train today. Come down from Taipei to eat. Located near the Jinghuang Temple Business District in Shinchu City, time-honored duck rice specialty store. From its founding in 1983 to the present, already nearly 30 years old. Even though it's not even meal time yet. It has already attracted a lot of crowds. Come by smell. What do you want for takeout? It's good to take out a piece of duck rice, one big and one small. You don't know if you don't tell me. Signature duck rice. There is also this hidden version of how to eat it. Soft-boiled eggs fried in duck fat. After the pot is cooked, spread it on top of the rice. Then gently poke the egg yolk. Let the egg liquid flow down slowly. Evil golden egg liquid. Duck rice. The more you eat, the more your mouth becomes wet. I think it's the duck fat. Mix it with that duck meat. Add it to the soft-boiled egg. The scent of the sesame oil feels pretty good. In this way, our duck meat will be more tender and fragrant. That sauce of mine. The aroma will come out when you stir it. Because sushi rice is cute when cooked. It's expensive, but that's okay. Eat better for your guests. Very demanding on the quality of food ingredients. She is the first generation founder of the old store. 62-year-old Xing Feijuan. Insist on presenting the perfect taste of duck meat. They are all made and sold fresh every morning. How long does it take to steam like this? 40 minutes. Duck meat, freshly washed in steam bath, ready to cook. Li Jiawei in 1980. 
It's a second generation of the old shop, inherited from mother's skills. Choose Taichung Duck House, warm duck meat delivered directly every morning. You still have to go through this procedure after steaming. You have to pluck this duck feather, the taste will be good. They can't clean the duck house. Dealing with this small detail of duck feathers, all done very carefully, the key to delicious food is the second step. Ready to smoke. At this time we start adding sugar. Ready to smoke. Golden ratio of white sugar, smoke for 5 minutes, control of time and heat. Varies with seasonal changes in weather. This also made Li Jiawei, 10 years ago, when I just graduated from college and retired from the army, go home and take over the craft from your mother, after groping for a long time. Just got started slowly. In fact, the most difficult point is to quantify it. It used to be small, pot. And now make it a bigger, pot, talent quantification. Quantification is more difficult. This pot is all made to order, recustomized. After this becomes a big pot. You have to do the math too. Look at its smoke and fire. We all have to recalculate. When the time is up, open the lid. This time duck meat, all put on golden coats. Look at the smell of smoke coming to your nose. Smoked duck meat, because we need to be considerate of our guests, so we deboned all the bones. He has a good way of handling duck meat, all from mother's teachings. Although time-consuming and labor-intensive, but I don't dare to be careless at all. We have never stripped bones before, guests eat until children eat. Although. I think I have one more program and I will peel it off. Bones can also be used to make soup. Why don't you do something that would benefit two people? But as early as 40 years ago, Xing Fei Juan did not enjoy duck meat at first. Instead, open a video rental store. After nine years of operation, we can't make ends meet. Life can be said to be bitter, haha. <laughs> when a new movie comes, you have to buy it. Buy new movies when they come. There's no way to calculate that. At that time, after the videotape was not made, what industry do I want to talk about? Then let me think about it. It's better to make something to eat. Then let's say. Let's sell duck noodles. Working hard for a pair of children. It was originally a dinner and supper spot, but in such a day and night. More than eight years. Let her reflect on how long she can last. I'm worried about my husband and I. Sooner or later one day your body will be exhausted. Sniper underscore the body will be exhausted one day due to prolonged drought. Duck noodles were. It's similar to quick frying. Then they have to drink with the guests. A life that is reverse day and night again, I told my husband. Life can't last long like this. Later I said I don't want to do that business anymore. All night, open, go and replenish food at dawn. Go to the big market to stock up on groceries. Very tired. Too much physical strength. Then I took a two-year break and started again. But the business has been stagnant. Because of my son's words, hit by accident. That's how this bowl of duck-flavored rice was born. He will come back at that time after school. I'll make noodles for him to eat. He said, Mom, you always make noodles for me to eat. Can you make some food? When I say rice, I have an idea. I said it looks very similar. Okay, then pour the sauce on our duck. Then onion and pepper. He said mom, this seems to be for sale. I said it seems okay. It turned out that this bowl of duck-flavored rice, there's still a mother hiding behind the scenes. Care and dedication to rabbits. Care and dedication to your son. In order to add variety to the items in the store, Xing Fei Juan continues to develop the taste of duck rice. If there is not enough, I will tell my mother again. And then in the end it was this one. The recipe for the marinade is fixed. Like other duck noodle restaurants in Shinshu City, there is market segmentation. Have your own unique characteristics. The sauce for this duck rice, that's a big key. Marinade for our duck rice. There's duck fat in it. And the secret recipe we prepared. Every day there is nothing but cooking. I probably cook about 30 pots a day. And the Superman side dish in the store is fried duck blood. It's a must try for every table. Add the minced chili and garlic to the pot first. Saute with duck fat over high heat. Then the protagonist duck blood appears. Bird vinegar duck blood. Pour in bird vinegar soy sauce paste. Fry quickly over high heat over 180 degrees. Lock in aroma. You also need to add rice wine to remove the fishy smell. Finally, thicken the gravy with starch powder. Increase smooth taste. Tempting fried duck blood. Ready to cook. Duck blood makes it tender, juicy, and ageless. We have been eating at this restaurant since we were young until now. It's been more than 10 years. Not too sour and not too spicy. It just so happens that it has thickener there again. It tastes squishy. It's so smooth and smooth. 
and it just goes well with this rice. The other one is also perfect with duck rice. This is the recipe using duck fat and duck stock. Go ahead and fry the cabbage. Stir fry cabbage until crispy and refreshing. Tastes fresh and sweet. I see my son whether it's in the infield or outfield. Can handle all matters in a store. Very well taken care of. Very well taken care of. Xing Fei Chuan is very pleased. He was always by my side when he was little. Then it's time to sell duck noodles by my side. Then, selling duck rice, he was also with me. He saw it all. Then he will become the second generation of the inheritance. He was also very happy to accept it. Then I'll feel relieved. Family feelings. Also rely on this bowl of duck-flavored rice, tied together tightly. The hard work in the past has a price. And I think. How to say. What do you say to children too? It is a force that unites together. Like this duck rice, the pillar that brings our family together. We are full of gratitude. Step by step. There's still a long way to go. Then there is a little progress every day. Looking back, I feel. I have grown up over this period of time. Then I will continue to work hard. Guard carefully. An old sign passed down from my mother. Li Jiawe not only wants to inherit this old taste, let everyone know more. Duck rice filled with maternal love. Every bite is finger licking and savory. Shinchu Huku Old Street, originated during Jinma period of the Qing Dynasty. There have been more than, there have been more than, more than 200 years of history. Antique streets and alleys. Baroque architecture. It is the most intact old street in Taiwan. Experienced rise, fall, and restructuring. From the early sales distribution center. Until now. Working towards tourism development. In addition to Hakka food, glass art creation. There are also fusions of local ingredients, wood fired pizza. They all show the vitality of the old streets. Brick Red Street House, sandwiched between straight streets, Baroque arched gallery. Simple and honest, standing for more than a hundred years. This is Huku Old Street in Shinchu. It is also the most well preserved old street in Taiwan. Away from the prosperity of the past, the quiet and slow life of a small town. Everywhere is full of nostalgic Hakka flavor. Raw intestines with lots of shredded ginger. There's something that are left and stir-fry quickly, full of aroma and sour taste. Only sows have raw intestines. Usually when you eat it outside, it's the large intestine. Because you want the large intestine to be crispy, you have to add some chemical stuff. It will be crispy. I use organic free-range eggs for this egg. The most important thing is to say. Let people be able to say. Eat healthier. Jade crystal egg. Add a gourmet fish in it. Drizzle with mayonnaise. Top with generous amounts of bonito flakes. Tomato sauce garnish. Just like Taiwanese okonomiyaki. This Hakka restaurant in Huku Old Street don't care about cost, all using top quality ingredients. Actually, it's Chen Wenfeng. To fulfill my dream of retirement. Like this ceiling originally. This was originally an asbestos tile. Because it's broken. So we covered them all with iron sheets. Cover it with iron sheet. Because it will taste like iron. Maybe the industrial wind will be very strong. So we use black as the base. So our ceiling, all black. Then tie the bamboo up. Because bamboo is our specialty in Shinchu, so after we do it, there won't be a feeling of oppression. Retro interior decoration in the store. It's all Chen Wenfeng. Ancient Hakka farm tools collected from everywhere, daily necessities, and some homemade works of art. All this comes into view. It's like walking into a time tunnel. Overhead crane for fetching water. But what about this thing? The wood must be of good quality. Like this one, it's made of bird's heart stone. Usually, the overhead crane must have bird's heart stone, or it can only be made of beech wood. In those early days when there was no spirit level, what is it? Use this thing. This is called a water scale bucket. Early water scale bucket. Working outside for many years. After retirement, choose to return to your roots. Return your heart to zero. No more worrying about the amount of wealth. Maybe when the soul is rich. Only then can we fill the gaps in life. Are you saying you didn't make any money? We earned something invisible. I made many friends, but money is really. Didn't make a dime. Even the previous pension, all are buried in this place. The young man left home and the boss came back. This is a portrayal of the mood of many wanderers, but there are also people who are interested in. Choose a midlife career change. Lu Yanshan was originally a science art, working on institutional design. High pressure and fast paced life. Make him start to think again. The life you want. I feel inside my heart. There is an old soul. So I did some research on some older objects, particularly sentimental. The one on the far right is, it is a candle. I designed it as a candlestick, then it is actually using an old component. 
and then go through our thoughts, combined with precision craftsmanship. The glass one is us. These are the many early windows and doors in the past. Many will use it. This kind of old glass with begonia flowers, then I also think it is glass, rarely seen now. But it also exists. That totem has some beauty. Then when we light it up, just enough to appreciate the beauty of glass again, treat what others regard as waste. As the main creative material, Luo Yanchen hopes that his works can purify and warm the heart. So he chose to create an Huku Old Street. Share your life philosophy. What touches me about Huku Old Street is street scene on this street has an old taste. But it's very simple. It's not gorgeous, but it's simple. Among the existing old streets in Taiwan, buildings in Huku Old Street, although not the most complicated, but it is the most completely preserved. Starting from Sanyuan Palace, go south to La Huku Catholic Church, one Chinese and one Western, temples and churches about 300 meters away. One on the street and one at the end of the street, connecting the beliefs and emotions of old street people. In our Huku Business District, on our right, we can see that this is Sanyuan Palace, that Sanyuan Palace is on our side of Huku. Haka Religious Center. Then it is also one of our county's designated historic sites. Then it is also one of our county's designated historic sites. Our whole street. Come over here on our left. The whole street is full of we have. Designated as a prefectural historic site. Walking on the old street and looking around. Continuous two-story buildings. Although the styles are the same, they are also different in interest. The parapet is decorated with three-dimensional reliefs. The decoration and construction methods on each archway. It also symbolizes the families. Identity and status at that time. Come here is. At the end of our Huku Old Street. We saw a Catholic church. That was when Father Wong came here. Then put this place. The original inn was the old train station. The cathedral built after the purchase. The history of Huku Old Street. Xiao Xiaowei, a treasured person, actually born in Tainan. Studying in the South, originally worked as a tour guide. He laughs and calls himself a wandering nation, but because I fell in love with Huku Old Street, settled down from now on. What I want to do now is, our tongue flower bottle cap. I now use this called solid light worker. That's because we use solid glass rods. Then use this directly. The flame of the lamp to heat. Then the core temperature of this fire can reach 1,200 degrees. Chiao Xiaowei puts his personal creations into, integrate with life. Let people who come to Huku Old Street can be easily appreciated. The artistic creation process of glass. You can also learn various techniques here. Artistic creation. Our glass pen. It is rather special, that is to say, except pen. The pen is 100 years old. In fact, it was first in Europe. There is production and creation. Then let's take some parts other than the pen. Like its inkwell. There's also a pen holder and bottle caps. Make a whole set of combination and creation. As for the flower utensils, what's special is that we made it three-dimensional. Stand up, stand up, burn. Fewer people stand up and burn. Because this is possible. If you are burning while standing, changes are more difficult to control. So we burned it standing. Then make it into a small flower container. Shinju is the hometown of glass, gradually declined after relocation of factories. Beginning to transform in recent years. Through the combination of art and culture. Tell the story of the years. Xiao Xiaowei said that although Huku Old Street is not long, but each store has its own characteristics. Just like this one in Huku Business District. Garden Cafe. Different from commercial cafes. Different from commercial cafes. Tranquility and ease. It also hides Luo Meiyao's longing for her relatives. Every plant and tree here. Including these. You see these big trees. They are all left behind by my father in his early years. It's been 670 years now. I have seen this site since I was a child. When I was 17 years old. First grade of high school. I left home. Working and living outside. Until the year when I was 34 years old. After my parents passed away. I'll come back here. After the death of her parents, Luo Meiyao. Return to hometown. Create a coffee garden with your wife. Return to the place of growth. Reconnect with childhood. Let life burn again. Old people sometimes teach you these traditional rice dishes. He won't take too much pains to guide you. What should you pay attention to? Wait until we actually start doing it. Only to find out what the old people said before was very, very wise of him. Very wise of him. Our store till now. It's been 20 years has been changing over the past 20 years. We also sniffed out many business opportunities, in addition to some of our existing catering. Besides coffee, we also made some other ice products. We also made some Hakka dim sum. Includes large glutinous rice balls. 
This has been all these years. We respond to the needs of the entire environment. Products derived from young people who have returned to their hometowns to work hard these years, taking advantage of the characteristics of Hoku Old Street, develop suitable products. The original abandoned old church, thanks to the efforts of the villagers. Reborn. Because of the outmigration of the population, so in 1982 of the Republic of China, so in 1982 of the Republic of China, this church is temporarily in use, overgrown with weeds that sat idle for eight years. Residents feel it is a pity because I came to kindergarten before. I used to come to church to receive. Canned flour milk powder candy is emotional. Just tell the church. See if you can reorganize this place. Reactivate? Later, the church agreed to rearrange it. The results are in the process of being sorted out. Found some artifacts. Because the priest is Italian. Then our Hakka village here. So foreign priests come. I want to learn Hakka dialect. That priest wants foreigners to come here in the future. Speak Hakka. Let's compile the Inca dictionary with the people here. English and Hakka dictionary. So if you don't speak Hakka, you can look it up in the dictionary. Leon Chang was born in Jinfeng, Shinchu, because I was exposed to cooking during my time in the military. Unintentionally sparked his interest. Learning to make kiln-baked pizza after being discharged from the army. Start a business with family support. He hopes to combine local characteristics. Develop various Taiwanese-flavored pizzas. What is special about us is, we have a pizza called Padre's Pizza. Why is it called Padre's Pizza? It's because I just mentioned, the priest here used to be. He happens to be Italian. We were just making pizza. He wants to learn Hakka. So he localized many Western things. Then we happen to be selling pizza. Turn Taiwanese taste into pizza. Because we are Hakkas. There are Hakka villages here. So we made Hakka sauerkraut. Or salt pork. Or some Hakka flavor stuff. Turn into pizza. Most of the pizza. They use jalapeno peppers for their chili. But I. I came here because. I started actually localized. I started localized. Then I think there is actually something. Then I think there is actually something. Then I think there is actually something. We can replace it with something from Taiwan. What about chili pepper? In fact, Taiwanese peeled chili peppers are very delicious, and everyone's taste is very accustomed to it. So later, we went to find suitable peeled peppers. Add it to pizza. Revitalize church, bringing the spirit and story of FR. Integrate into the idea and production of pizza. Liang Zhang Yuan uses delicious food, passionate and touching stories. It also inherits the local culture. After hundreds of years, Hoku Old Street still retains culture and architectural features. The human touch is even more intense. If you have the chance, slow down your pace. Appreciate the simplicity and tranquility of the old streets. This time-honored restaurant in Zhudong. The fragrance is more than a dozen. You can eat it here. Almost lost Hakka cuisine, like kumquat smoked rice sausage. Warm-bodied pig intestines are used. Slowly smoked with kumquat leaves over low heat. Soft and tender rice sausage. It exudes a faint scent of kumquat leaves. There are also shrimp omelets that are not available outside. The small shrimps use dar. Fry it together with the eggs. It tastes very special. Hello upstairs. My brother took teacher Wan to the second floor. How many teachers are there today, Mr. Wan? There are about eight people today, okay? Noon meal time. Customers are riding one after another. This shop. More than a dozen Hakka restaurants. Just hide in the market. But he's a local from Zhudong. Good taste from snack to adult. Good taste from snack to adult. We often come here to eat. It comes almost two or three times a month, especially her side, cooking traditional Hakka dishes. She did it very authentically. So we often come here to eat. Since her grandfather was here, eat till now. We like this place very much. Ever since I was little, my grandma. Just take me here to dine. I think it is very authentic Hakka food. One after, my eyes. One after another in front of my eyes. Delicious food that makes your mouth water. They are all the most authentic and traditional Hakka dishes. It's like summer has arrived. Hakka people like to use grass jelly to stew chicken soup. This is passed down from our ancestors. A good way to cool down and cool down. The grass jelly is simmered for several hours. It tastes sweet, refreshing, and reduces internal heat. Free-range chickens slaughtered every day. Hue tender, juicy, and quite nourishing. There is also this one. Hakka stir-fry that can cook up several bowls of rice. Fried meat tastes fat but not greasy. Dried squid and tofu are chewy. Fragrant. Fully demonstrate the characteristics and charm of traditional Hakka cuisine. It's neither frilly nor fancy. It's just very real. Cheap and generous. Cheap and generous. His chicken grass jelly is very satisfying because the grass jelly is prepared by oneself. It's very sweet, delicious, and very good. Good craftsmanship that was customers. It's from the person in front of me, Chen Chiaoding, who is only in her early 40s. Now we are putting. Previous work before smoked rice sausage. Cut off the oil. Because nowadays, people don't eat too much fat. So if this goes down, sometimes they feel that speaking is too oily. So we will have preparatory work. I'm going to take care of it after. Do the follow-up work. This restaurant is located in an alley in Jidong town. Hakka cuisine. There are really only gourmets in the alley. Only then did we find a way to find out. The third generation of Hakka cuisine expert, Chen Chouding. Originally engaged in technology industry. Why did you go home to take over? One of the important responsibilities of inheritance. Take you to see their stories.
Carefully place a rice noodles next to rice sausage. Cut off the white grease. Although this step is simple, but cannot be omitted, I grew up here when I was a child. So when I was a kid, I remember. Grandpa is using it, just not at that time. It's when I cut this oil. Won't get rid of so many. He just got rid of part of it, because people at that time, I will still get used to eating oil and salty foods. The previous concept was that they were hakas. They all eat heavy oil and salty food, but we still need to add, subtract and improve, but we have to keep it. We were originally haka people. What he is used to is there. Go and save it. And also, that to turn on There's a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Because this is Grandpa Chin Fook Kim. A lifetime of hard work, the important task of inheritance. It was originally in the body of my mother, Lu Rui Yuan, but over the years, I got sick from exhaustion. Chen Shouting, feel sorry, for her mother, decided to come back and take over. Many things are still being explored and learned. This kumquat leaf, just the early days, when my hometown was relatively poor. Stew this to cure sore throat. This dish was taught by my mother-in-law. I grew up eating. Now it's time to put the kumquat leaves. Go cook it. Because we need to remove impurities, because when we pick it from the tree. While cutting. There will still be some impurities in it. So we're going to get rid of it. Kumquat smoked rice sausage is a restaurant signature dish. It has almost been lost outside. Warm-bodied pig intestines should be stewed until soft and tender, then stir-fry over low heat together with kumquat leaves. A test of both skill and patience. When Chin Shouting first started doing, I have failed several times. If you are too angry, it will become burnt on the outer layer, not yet cooked inside. So it becomes saying, you have to pay close attention to its heat. Also be careful to turn it over. How long have you been learning this course? How long have you been learning this? When you smoke it, smoke it for a long time. Sometimes when freshly smoked, will fail every time. You just become burnt. He didn't eat it originally, basically the taste he wants. Dried over low heat. Kumquat leaves, take away the greasiness of rice noodles. Soft and tender rice sausage, exudes a faint scent of kumquat leaves. The texture is bouncy and fragrant and refreshing. This kumquat leaf. It has a nanyang flavor. It tastes very good. Because that kumquat can relieve cough and reduce phlegm. And its taste is very special. It still smells like mom. Do you want it fried here or something? I'll give you that little pot. The pig's feet are painted. Is there a large intestine? Fried large intestine is good. Don't have too big roots. Are there any smoked sausages? Is there smoked rice sausage? Actually cooking. I only started learning it after I came back. When I was a kid, I was only responsible for outfield work. I didn't touch the kitchen at all. Cooking food for my family who grew up cooking food. You can't go out to play on holidays. You can always be at home, so you will feel that. I will never touch this when I grow up. Whatever you do is fine. Just don't do this. So after Chin Shouting left society, choose to work in the technology industry. Run as far as you can. But sometimes, the less you want to encounter it. It just happened to let you run into it. Compared to my daughter's escape, Mother Lu Rui Yuan chose. Don't bow to fate. This is a very fragrant and delicious prune dish. When I choose products, I will definitely choose the most fragrant and best ones. But my standards. I don't want it. Even if you go into the kitchen, you have to dress up beautifully. Lu Rui Yuan's appearance always impresses others. Feeling strong and competitive. But actually she also has a fragile side. It's just that she's used to not letting outsiders see her. Last night's stars has fallen. Disappear into the distant horizon. This is how I play. This is how I play. Very happy. The more nervous I get, the more I sing. They say you are so busy yet so carefree. Why don't you work quickly? I said you were wrong. That's how I relieve stress. Sing to relieve stress. Cover up sadness with smile. There are countless days in my memory. Her tears were swallowed into her stomach. Mister, when he was training for free. Impact on the 12th thoracic vertebrae. Paralysis of lower body. The first place you go to is the emergency room. Doctor, tell me when he comes out. Your husband is paralyzed from the lower half of his body. Not a drop of blood was shed. I said it's impossible. Even after so many years. Lu Rui Yuan recalled, still feeling quite excited. At that time, my father-in-law Chen Fukian opened a Hakka Cuisine restaurant. The business is also running smoothly. But there are unforeseen circumstances. The gentleman who was supposed to take over was accidentally paralyzed. The burden of taking care of children and running a business. At the same time, it fell on Lu Ruiyu. When the sound of exploding water is louder, almost medium rare. 
There is still a little sound of water now. We can't make this fire too big. Just wait a moment. The meat inside was not cooked yet and was burnt. After the accident happened to Mr. Mr. Lou Rue, who has never been in the kitchen before, trying hard to learn how to cook from my father-in-law, insist on quality control. Just for a promise. Because my mother-in-law said, to do it, you have to be the best. It's 100 yuan, 120, block, 150, block. You have to buy 150 units. Don't buy something cheap for 100 yuan. We would rather earn less. We want to give our guests the best. Just don't make so much money. I just listened to the teachings of my parents-in-law. My mother-in-law loves me very much. She grabbed my hand and said, Rui Yuan, can you please pick me up at my house? At the age of 90, I said okay, no problem, I will pick it up. I said I'll take it no problem. No matter how hard life is, Lu Rui Yuan said she has no right to be sad. So she firmly shouldered the responsibility of inheritance, hold it on your body. But a year ago, my father-in-law and mother-in-law left one after another, her heart has lost all support. Father-in-law passed away, mother-in-law passed away, I feel like I have no one to rely on. Afraid of my daughter. Can't take on such a big store. I am also afraid that my son will go to mainland China due to the epidemic. Just worry like this. I'm panicking. What do I want to do? I'm sick. My little kid doesn't know how to do anything. I haven't even taught him how to meet again. What should I do if I get sick? Mom's loss and worry. Daughter chin shooting sees it in her eyes. It hurts in my heart, so I decided to give up my job in the tech industry, go home and take over the important responsibility of inheritance. Now I'm going to make shrimp omelette. It's called shrimp gongdan in Hakka dialect. This is the shrimp by the stream. Chop it into thin pieces, otherwise when we eat, we'll be stung by the horns of shrimps. Grandpa used to do it all the time. When you want to eat eggs, he will give it to us to eat. So actually the food I'm learning now. They were all taught by grandpa. Although he didn't say anything, but you see him next to you, while cooking. Even though you know the steps, he won't explain them, but you know what to say. His love for us is like this. Carry heavy burdens and turn suffering into motivation. Mother and daughter Lulu Yuan and Chen having the identity of a traditional woman, let the thrifty and simple Hakka cuisine, more of a happy-go-lucky person. Stiff neck spirit. The Taigang tribe in Jianshu Township, Shinshu, there was a one-armed young farmer, Zhang Zhihai. Because of a car accident 20 years ago, resulting in lifelong paralysis of the right hand, but he is not discouraged, strive to overcome difficulties. Now on the mountain, by planting peach and cabbage, and crops such as tomatoes, raising five children alone. He leans on one hand, carrying the family's finances on one shoulder, face life's challenges bravely. The kid is confused. Because I want to say. Why is dad so tired? The sun is hitting your butt. Get up quickly. Because of small things like children. I'm holding it all with one hand. After all, I have five children. Serve the food yourself. Help with the food. Let's go. Red small farm vehicle, driving slowly on the mountain road. Watching the earth and sky reflect each other. Taigang tribe, Jianshu Township, Shinshu, young farmer, Zhang Zhihai. With children. About to unfold. A day's hard work. It's not hard to spot when driving. His right hand drooped limply. You can only use your left hand to fix the direction of the car, then use your feet to support the angle. Driving using both hands and feet seems laborious, but in fact, he is flexible. It's time to go pick peaches. You are responsible for carrying the basket. Children are carrying and carrying, holding basket. Accompanying dad to pick peaches. You'll understand if you look carefully. Zhang Zhihai's right hand wearing a black sleeve. Obviously shrunk. Totally useless. Already pronounced by the doctor, paralyzed for life, to raise five children. He has only one hand left, still have to find a way to make a living. If you're like me, I know how to support my feet like this. And then pull it like this. Leaning like this. When picking alone, yes, this is very hard. 
have no idea. Repeatedly picking peaches with your left hand, cramps have long been a common occurrence. But physical impairment, nothing hinders his work in life. You said, slope is flat, I won't be that strenuous yet. Mainly this slope, I still have to go uphill to pull that pipeline. In addition to suffering, you, you must have enough patience. Come over here. Dad, is this a biting cat? Is coming. It's so dangerous here. Picking fruits on steep hillsides, children are dad's best helpers. It's also really dangerous, it relies on years of hard work. Even if you have become proficient, traveling between peach orchards. But you still have to look at the weather to eat. Look at the peach hanging on the tree, they were all blown down. You see there are a lot of floors, blown down. Not even half of it has been harvested yet. This large peach orchard, income that only occurs once a year, encountered heavy rain and storm, I can only admit it, but the rare golden peach, only here. Just like the golden peach, its color is yellow. Then the smell is very fragrant. It's easy, does that fruit fly have it? Very easy to cause fruit fly bites. Due to difficulty in planting, the yield is scarce, more precious. The Taigang tribe is over 1,500 meters above sea level, especially suitable for growing golden peaches, different from the common Shanghai peaches. The appearance is relatively small, appearance, color, and taste are also different. The flesh is orange-yellow, tastes crisper, and the taste of mango. The fruity aroma spreads after one bite, but, no matter what, no matter how much or how little we harvest, we insist on not using pesticides. Because of this peach, we just want to keep its original appearance. Also because I insist on not using pesticides, let Zhang Jihai's output not be stable, from planting, management, harvesting to sales. Zhang Jihai carries it all on one shoulder, we have to keep going, busy with farm work. The left hand needs to be strong, because after all, this machine is very heavy, then it's more difficult for us to cut the grass. A machine that converts 4 to 5 kilograms, hold it with one hand. Zhang Jihai is the most powerful, it's his strong willpower. What others can do, he never gave up. But because of a car accident 20 years ago, as a result, five nerve plexuses were broken in my right hand. Three years of rehabilitation with no improvement. The moment the doctor pronounced me paralyzed for life, it's still hard to accept now. Because I'm right-handed, all of a sudden, I want to be in a better position in life. If you lose your right hand, maybe many things. At work, it may be true. Many, many obstacles. I see myself a little sad. In fact, it was a psychological torture. Not physically. Physically, I can still overcome it. But the torment in my heart is really hard for me. But later, I want to say that I am still so healthy, just missing one hand. With an optimistic attitude, facing the issues given by God. At that time, he only had one hand left. I also happened to meet my ex-wife. The other party has never disliked it. And after he was injured that year, you can also choose to return home directly, accompanying elderly parents from dad's farmland. Start learning farming work step by step, training left hand, things that can't be done, just find a way to overcome it. Because only those who have suffered know it, never suffered. I don't know the true meaning of suffering. No pain, no gain. I have understood this sentence. Setbacks in life. Instead, it became his nourishment, but in reality, taking care of parents and children, rely on farming alone, it is difficult to maintain basic household expenses, therefore, Zhang Jihai still has to work part-time, like being a housekeeper at a B&B, fold the quilt, sweep and mop the floor, wash the toilet, sweep and mop the floor and wash the toilet, even work in the kitchen, such as cooking. Nothing is too hard to defeat him, go out every morning, return home early in the morning, often only sleep 34 hours a day, make up for not having much time. The regret of accompanying children. Try to satisfy everything the child wants. They like the feeling of, barbecuing. Like that atmosphere, the fish is good. Tasty. The innocent smiles of children, this is Zhang Jihai's greatest joy. But facing life's issues alone. Lonely and helpless. Still can't help but come to mind late at night. Because when I am suffering. I can't find anyone to talk to. Because I'm very brave. Always face it with strength. When tired, I always go to this secluded place in the mountains, looking into the distance, you singing to express your mood. 
Really awesome. Who is your angel, tired dad? Angel. What gift does God give you? Get the best dad ever. Children's words from the heart. She deeply moved my father. Although there is only one hand, but the intensity of holding the child has not diminished. Firm back. How many in these years? Also made some achievements. I used to be a worker. Now I become the boss of the workers. I am now a worker in his tomato garden. He is still willing to fight. That means we see it. Our tribe just wants to say. Try to help him as much as possible. In the eyes of neighbors, full of admiration, even if one hand is missing, I never complained. Because I believe I can do it myself. Definitely better than two hands. A firm heart can bring you. Let you move towards the light. I love daddy eating. Four children. Dad is like an angel, working hard to overcome physical disabilities. Zhang Jihai built a home with one hand. Teach your children by example. No matter what difficulties we encounter in the future, can't choose to escape. Everyone must face it bravely. Life challenges. Near Nanya Fishing Port in Shinju, you can't even find one using GPS. Very secretive seafood restaurant. Exclusive dishes, guaranteed to be fresh. Eat like a fisherman's rice and get a lot of seafood. And the fragrant crispy rice cake. The seasonal bird fish rice noodle soup is sweet and delicious. Others like Osmanthus crab vinegar socks silk. They are all good tastes that you can't eat outside. Boss Wu Xinghua likes fishing. I also worked as a fisherman for several years. Also represented the Taiwan cycling team, riding into the Olympic Games. He even has a mysterious identity. That is the posthumous son of a veteran of the Black Cat Squadron. As history is deciphered. Wu Xinghua is looking for myself in pain, share life in seafood. Let's take a look at his story. I can't hear. This thing of yours is not new. Don't be envious. Don't be jealous. Everything depends on oneself. Jianli Nanya Fishing Port. Restaurants within a five-minute drive. Formerly our own factory. Interior decoration retro mix and match. Even in the ordinary afternoon, there are so many gourmets coming to visit. Two years old seafood restaurant. 17 years old seafood restaurant. It was created by the boss Wu Xinghua. Local food in the alleys. Our signature, paella, then our pot of rice. When I opened the store, I thought, because it's in an alley. We must have a few flying watches. Of course, fried rice and seafood ingredients first. Then this is our exclusive fabric. Then some customers call it fisherman's rice. Tastes not available outside. Want to fry seafood? Put fried seafood into fried rice. After pouring the egg liquid and ingredients, then burn it dry on the fire. Then this burning is very important. Some customers like to eat crispy rice. They said it would be particularly fragrant this way. Cooked sizzling rice. The fried rice at the bottom of the pot smells burnt. Blended with fresh seafood. Served with exclusive sauce, excellent salty and concave taste. Become the original delicacy that sells and becomes popular. There is no fixed menu in Wu Xinghua store. Classic dishes are passed down by word of mouth. He insisted on the seafood of the day. I personally went to the fishing port to select it. Sister-in-law, what do you have today? Is there any black hair today? Three foot five has a black hair. There are black hairs. This is the best fish caught in Gigi, called Haimeo. Its meat is very thin. It's all a matter of luck. Sometimes there may not be. Yes, not necessarily. What time do you usually come to shop? About nine o'clock. So our place is Nanliao, to Nanliao Fishing Market. The wind is blowing at level 11 today. There is no way for the boat to get out today. We can only stay here. Before opening a restaurant, Wu Xinghua became a fisherman in the Western New Year. Have your own fishing boat for fishing. Knowledge of various seafood. It also started from that time. It also started from that time. Is the catch fresh? Can't escape his eyes. Then we now pick the flower crabs. This is a big one. When choosing, be sure to choose this red-faced one. When choosing, be sure to choose this red-faced one. Such a red-faced one. The red face represents on the inside. It's very full. And very sweet. This was caught on their own boat. So I came back yesterday. Arrived last night. The more the merrier. Rare things to live in. Only a few ships have caught these. And those inside. There are really few flower crabs this year. Various fish vendors in the market. It was all the Wuxinghua was a fisherman. Fishing partners. 
After opening a restaurant, Fishing Friends back then, it has become the best choice for providing fish products. Various fish lobsters. Various fish lobsters. What do you want to buy? I'm very open when you see me. Next time I calculate money and give it to a sponsor. I'll calculate the money later and give it to a sponsor. Next time I have to calculate the money and give it to a sponsor. I've been almost for some years. People. Rain or shine. Wu Xinghua's journey from becoming associated with the sea to opening a restaurant. Those days of living in the sea. Now that I think about it, I still can't remember it. At that time, the walruses were very good and the catch was plentiful. It's probably the first time I come back from fishing. It's probably possible to go out like this on a single trip. More than 10,000 or more than 20,000 pieces of fish. I almost died three times in the sea. Fortunately, life is very good. The waves are bright and the wind is blowing. The whole boat is inserted halfway into the sea. Then float. There must be fish. We will have money today. Because there were many people from Taipei back then. Or a seafood restaurant from Taichung. They liked the fish we caught. Later my master told me. Open it yourself inside. Because we see fish firsthand. It's so fresh when you catch it. The internet is so good. That's a very subjective impression. Have courage. Open a restaurant in the alley of the fishing port. Sometimes even GPS can't navigate. But Wu Xinghua relies on the freshest catches and dishes. Be a place where insiders know. I opened this store when I was 40 years old. Then I am 56 years old this year. Because all the customers tell me about it. Fisherman's shop. As seen now. There are already about 10 species of fish, right? All have different names. Wait for the guests to order this food. Catch, bought from fishing port. We'll immediately put it in an ice bucket to keep fresh, like crabs and lobsters, will be placed in a seawater holding tank. These seafood. That's Wu Xinghua's menu today. Although the fisherman's son doesn't buy fish, but he takes care of everything in the kitchen. To the seafood my dad bought me, can serve food quickly. From the time I was discharged from the army at the age of 20 to now I'm 30 years old, almost 8-9 years, just learn the craftsmanship of each master. It becomes your own. Fried osmanthus crab. Put the egg into pan first and then fry them. Add various vegetable ingredients. Finally, add the slightly fried flour crabs. Continue to stir fry. Golden egg flour. Just like the color of osmanthus, the seasonal crab meat is plump and delicate. Enjoy the full taste of freshness and sweetness. Wu Xinghua is in charge of picking fresh food. Sun Wu Zonghan is in charge of serving food. Father and son perform their respective duties in perfect harmony. And talking about the role of father. Wu Xinghua is just like us. It's from an old photo on the restaurant wall. Get to know your father, O.J. Oh he. I'm very ordinary, but I had one since I was little. The father who sacrificed his life for the country. And my mother who has been with me for 56 years. My father was. The last flying unit is the Black Cat Squadron. Just a squadron that was very secret in the past few years. Declassified about 10 years ago. Only then did I know, my father had so many. Things that ordinary people can't do. His plane is over Taiwan. When training to fly, something happened to the plane. He insisted on flying the plane down again. His wing hit a telegraph pole next to the airport. Died like this. My father died in the line of duty on February 17th. I was born the next month on March 31st. My father passed away at the age of 32. Wu Xinghua has never seen his father since he was born. I am almost unfamiliar with the role of father. And as time passes, the the actions of that year were made public. Father's various heroic deeds. Let Wu Xinghua admire him even more. There is a school in Xinchu City. In memory of my dad, remember him by his name. Whose idea is this wherever you go? My mother is a very traditional woman. But the love she had for my father. There's no way to change that. My mother has been a widow for my father for nearly 60 years. Deeply affectionate. Until now, I'm looking at my father's belongings. Will also cry with sadness. And as a posthumous child, Wu Xinghua had mixed feelings in his heart. Never even met. I just read books and browse photos. What he left behind. Describe it yourself. I want a father like this. When I was a kid, I also thought about it. The car in front. I would like to be in the car in front of me. I would like to be in the car in front of me. That person is my father. That person is my father. This stuff is all fake. My dad suddenly showed up, appearing like this in my hometown. Looking at other people's classmates' fathers, I feel envious of them. They have a dad. When I was in junior high school, I want to take a pilot exam. As a result, Xin Pu's grandfather came to tell me that you had millions. You must not fly a plane for me. I still remember what he asked me. 
Do you know how dangerous it is to fly a plane? I have a father with special status, in Wu Xinghua's heart. He seems to have inherited his father's ambition, whether you are doing business or being a fisherman. He even worked hard on his cycling skills. Make the Olympic team in one fell swoop. Become 1988. Seoul Olympic free bike training team members. For Wu Xinghua, he tried his best to perform well. Every role in life, until you get married and have children and start a business in middle age. But a restaurant opened in an alley. When it first opened, there was little interest. It was probably boring for half a year after I opened it. Is boring. Just occasionally a group of guests come a day. Or two groups of guests like this. Just rest on your laurels, to be honest, to this day. Even my mother didn't believe it. She told me about three years ago, she doesn't believe the business here. There will be so many guests coming in. She thinks it's a miracle, in fact, the food here, I tend to prefer seafood. Fisherman on boat or at home. Fisherman on boat or at home, you're not, weird. How can this thing be cooked like this? But it's delicious and simple. Appeal for this. Stick to the seafood in the fishing village. Wu Xinghua spent three whole years. The business in the store is slowly picking up. The craftsmanship of his son Wu Zonghan. Also becoming more and more proficient. Just back and forth. Actually, they're all pretty much the same. But there are too many tables. Or you'll be a little more tired with turn tables. Just get up and can't walk. Just keep standing, right, right? The seafood rice noodle soup just introduced. Those jealous couples. All must-haves. Seasoning includes bird vinegar, white vinegar, and sugar. That's it. Special vinegar sauce poured over the freshly fried soft silk thread. Sweet and sour, soft silk wrapped in thin powder. It tastes crispy and tender. Paired with vinegar flavor, makes people unable to stop eating. And bird fish rice noodle soup made with bird fish. It is also one of the signature dishes. Bird fish are only available this time of year. Rich oil and mature meat. Wu Xinghua will take the original white hairtail fish, change to bird fish. The rice noodle soup is overflowing with seafood and becomes stronger as it simmers. Take more care of your children. Right like. For example, my father gave it to me. Then I give them this. Pass it on to them. But don't be a bad example either. Because who is your grandfather? It's the same pressure as me. Who is my father? Who is your grandfather? Nearly a month has passed. Ministry of National Defense, National Military Museum. Also for his father, O.J. He Asia. Hold cultural relic donation. In the end, Wu Xinghua only kept one piece. Father's flying clothes are around. To him. The days and years are quiet now. Maintaining the delicious taste of the old store. Treat guests as family. He walked out of a big era background. Different road. As long as there are guests, he thinks we are. He was satisfied with what we made. And they will praise us very much. I will forget those painful things. What should I tell him, father, if I have a chance? It would be great if I could be his son again in my next life. So I can see. Hunter the flavors of life turned into fresh food on the plate. Wu Xinghua always uses an optimistic and open-minded heart. Facing various tests, believe in yourself and persist and never give up. A life of twists and turns. There is also a story that belongs to it. This scallion pancake in Shinshu is very special. Just add the egg liquid directly into the crust. Unique approach. Attracted many customers. But each piece of cake, in fact, there is a section. Boss Chin Demon also has two wives. A touching story about loving him. Do you want to add chili to the egg pancake? Get a leak box. Whose is the one without eggs? Located near Tsinghua University in Shinshu. Roadside stall, selling scallion pancakes. Open every day as soon as it opens. There was a huge crowd of people queuing up. There's always a long queue. I queued there last time. Yes, it's quite exaggerated. It's so delicious. I bought it many times. Come often to buy the right one. Just bought it a few minutes ago. If you tell me now that you don't have enough to eat, you will come back later. What kind of charm does it have? Attract guests to come back again and again. It turns out that the scallion pancakes here are very special. What we sell is unique in Taiwan. Egg-filled scallion pancake. Our thin piece of cake. So thin. A thin piece of cake. I made a hole in the middle of it. Then pour this egg into it. The egg fragrance cannot escape from the beaten eggs. Beat the egg liquid. Pour directly into the crust. Novel way to eat. No wonder it attracts many customers. Plus dry baking. Less greasy feeling. Crispy on the outside and soft on the inside scallion pancakes. Onion flavor mixed with egg flavor. Very refreshing taste. Very delicious and not greasy. Like our traditional. It seems to be fried. So it's all greasy when you pick it up. It won't.
In front of the stall, attractive noodle aroma, egg aroma, and green onion aroma, tightly holding the guest's footsteps. Spread plenty of leeks. Leek box with glass noodles. The taste is even better. It's full of fillings, and you can tell that the ingredients are genuine. Take a big bite of the crust, and it's so chewy. Dip in special chili sauce. More to the taste. The chili is delicious. I made it myself. If you are addicted, you have to come here to get the antidote. The chili is very unique. I like its spicy taste. And the leek is also very real. I like its leek box. It's like taking morphine. You must come here to eat or not. Because you can't buy anything like this outside. In fact, there is it here. It's just the smell of Uncle Onion sweat. No morphine. Full of confidence in our own products. Wearing a red vest. With a white beard. He is Chin Demon, the owner of the Scallion Pancake Shop. The Uncle Scallion that everyone calls. The speech is cordial, humorous and interesting. The speech is cordial, humorous and interesting. Always making guests laugh constantly. A little bit of pepper and salt, okay? Well, how about adding a little money? How about adding a little more money? It's okay to add money. He is so funny, because I have come here to buy several times. I really like his personality. I really like his personality. Really awesome. Thank you for the tip. I knew you were good to me. Unique Chen's humor amused the guests who came to the door. Chen Demon has been making cakes for 30 years. There are some things you should hold on to. He will never compromise. Like every piece of cake, he must be handmade. Even if you spend more than others. More than twice the time and effort. Also determined not to give in. You see my. What you eat is my product. Things made. 99.9%. All by hand. So I am very time consuming. It takes about 9 to 10 hours. Not only that. Every day I just knead the dough, roll out the dough, and make the dough. It will take 7 or 8 hours. Ask Chen Demon why he is so tired. He said this is a technique he learned from his mother. Nothing can be changed. Don't look at these dozens, but you just need to roll it out. It takes an hour. My mother explained, you have to come out to do this business. Just do it step by step, one by one. You didn't take things step by step. I tell you. You won't have a share tomorrow. Chin Demon was originally a professional soldier, after retiring from the Marine Corps. Can't find a job without skills. Became a taxi driver. Later, the prospects for the construction industry were bright. Chin Demon went to work in the sand and gravel transportation industry. Earn millions every month. He once made a fortune by driving a gravel truck, but good times don't last forever. The owner suddenly went bankrupt. Let him bear tens of millions of debts. Everything disappeared overnight. 60 or 70 million. It's only been two and a half months. All the savings I earned are gone. Who will help you? Don't worry, no one will help you. You borrow money from the bank. He also wants to scrape your flesh and drink your blood. No money now. Only then can I realize the warmth and warmth of human feelings. After eight lifetimes of the most bleak dark period. It was his mother's scallion pancake business that saved him. My mother gave me 80,000 roses. She said it's 80,000 roses. That's when you turn over. Let you turn over. You follow my rules. Follow my steps. I guarantee that all your gold and silver will be yours. I had a heavy fall on the road of life. Since there is no money, just find a way to earn it with your own hands. Chin Demon gave the 80,000 roses given by his mother. Take it and buy a pickup truck. Start over with a small business. Just a startup career. Initially, it failed to gain favor from customers. When we first started doing business, to be honest, my first day out doing business, doing business at a roadside stall. Just sold a leak box. Only sold for 25 roses. After waiting for 4 or 5 hours, it cost 25 roses. Do it every day no matter how tired you are. Sleep 2 or 3 hours a day. Keep working as usual. Just started a business. Not only did business not improve, trouble comes one after another. First wife. At this time, bad news came out. When doing business on the roadside. It's just me and my wife. Do. One day she was. Sudden convulsions. That bead of sweat. The bead of sweat are so big. Later, the bone marrow was extracted. Once the bone marrow is extracted. After the test, he, the doctor, told me, this is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's blood cancer. Hearing the news about his wife's cancer, Chen Demon couldn't accept it at first, but he has no choice. We can only face it calmly. 
scallion pancake stall at the hospital every day, traveling between places. Having to take care of two young children again, day after day the pressure made him breathless. So I hired Tang Shanchi from the Philippines. Share the housework for him, I just didn't expect this. Foreign domestic helpers who are not related by blood, but he is willing to do it in his most difficult time, come to the rescue. Even help with medical expenses. When I couldn't figure out how to pay her salary. I'll take the $10 and 50 roses. I'll take the 10 roses and 50 yuan. To pay her salary. I do not have money. She is paid in coins. I don't have the paper money to pay her salary. She was telling me something, she said. Boss, just give me 5,000 yuan. I know you are suffering. Just give me 5,000 yuan. I'll send it back to the Philippines for my family to use. Give the rest of the money to your wife. She calls my wife Miss Lin. She said she would take it to buy medicine for Miss Lin. Tang Shanxi's dedication without expecting anything in return. Let the tough guy Chin demon. Whenever I think about this past, I can't help but shed manly tears. She spends her hard-earned money, didn't send it home, bring it to help me. Help me support my family. Help my wife pay her medical bills. I met a lot of women. Nothing like her. I also have many girlfriends. But nothing like her. I've never met anyone like her. So good to me. It's also good for my family. Give everything. Not asking for anything in return. No one is like this. As he spoke, his eyes turned red. Speech choked. I have endless gratitude to Tang Shanxi. In order to repay her, Jin Demon decided to marry Tang Shanxi as his wife. This decision. It is also the last wish of my wife, who is terminally ill with cancer. She is also very open. She agreed to marry me. Who is the average wife who would agree with what you say? Check out 10 and see if you can find 2. This is all true without saying anything. What words can I use to describe it? It's better for us to take action. The most important thing is to repay her. When his wife died. He was the one who asked me if I wanted to marry him. That's what I considered. Is it right that you have considered it? Think about it. It's just that I think this person is very good. It doesn't matter if I work harder. Because you want to marry someone. For rich people. Then it's unhappy. It's not the same, is it? Just like getting divorced and breaking up. But it makes no sense. Do you want to add spiciness to the three scallion pancakes? What would you like? Can I order half a sheet? If you don't buy half a sheet, you will buy the whole sheet. Do you want to add eggs? No need? Give me candy. I must find a way to make you full. You take care of my family. I also want to take care of your home. I also take care of you and your home. After the death of his first wife, Chen Demon marries Tang Shanxi as his wife. Holding the ex-wife. The remaining 60,000 yuan left behind. Ding Xia's new store on Jianqing Road. Restart. Money debts are easy to pay. It's hard to repay a debt of gratitude. I owe them this life. I'll never finish it. Do my best. Do your best. I have to do it. Pieces of delicious scallion pancakes. Contains mother. Two wives. Full of love for him. Chen Demon is grateful and down to earth. My whole life, they all live a colorful life. Although it's hard. But it was a valuable life.